Hey guys, in today's video we are going to look at a lead code problem and problem's name is minimum operations to collect elements. So in this question we are given an array nums of positive integers and an integer k and in one operation you can remove the last element of array and add it to your collection. And we have to return the minimum number of operations needed to collect elements from 1 through k. So for example if you are given this array, so this is the input given to us where k is equal to 2. So we have to remove elements from the end and find out how many operations it will take to remove the elements 1 through k. So let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve the question. So we have this array and the value of k is equal to 2. Now we have to count the number of operations it will take to get the elements from 1 through k. So we need to remove the elements 1 through k is 2, so 1 and 2. So for that I am going to store these two elements inside a set by iterating from 1 through k and store it inside this set and now we need to return an integer right so I am going to use a count variable to count the number of operations which is initially 0. Now let's iterate through the input array from the end so from right to left so first I access this element I am going to check if this element is present inside the set yes it is present so increment count so because we have done one operation and remove this element from the set so set now has one now let's go for the next element so now we are pointing at this element check if this element is present inside the set no so we increment count and go for the next element next element is 5 we increment count we check if it is present inside the set no so go for the next element the next iteration i is pointing here we increment count and we check if this element is present inside the set yes it is present so we remove that element and the moment the set is empty we break the loop and return the variable count so count so count is 4 which is our expected output now let's take a look at the code and see how this steps are implemented so let's first declare the set and i'm going to iterate from 1 through k and add those elements into the set so set will now be having 1 and 2 for this example and I am declaring the output variable count now iterate through the for loop from right to left so from end to start first we will increment the count variable because we already started the first operation now I am going to check if this element at i is present inside the set using the contains method if it is present remove that element from the set and in each iteration you have to check if the set is empty or not as soon as the set is empty you break and come out of the loop and return the variable count so this will happen until set is empty so once 1 and 2 are removed the count will be 4 and 4 will be returned as the output which is the expected answer so the time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n so n here is the number of elements inside the nums array and here n is equal to k so k is the input here that's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.